All right, welcome to this little series of video tutorials to help you get started with using Compass Cave Survey software. So, um, before we begin, you want to make sure you've got Compass installed on your computer by going to the Compass website, which could be, um, you, could, you could go and you could search Compass Cave Survey on Google, or if you're on the Utah Grotto, you can, uh, the link should be right there on the Utah Grotto, you can download it that way. Once you've got the Compass installed, you want to open the Project Manager. So there's my little icon, and here's the Project Manager window. And once you've got the Project Manager open, let's go to File, and we're going to create a, an empty project. Now, the difference between a project and a survey file, a project um, you can think of as an area you're working on or a cave system that has multiple caves. So if you are working on an area like that, or, or you have several caves you need to geo-reference so that either you can get an overlay um, with the topo map or whatever you use in Google Earth. Um, you'll want to create an empty project and then within it you'll create survey files which are the actual cave files themselves. So let's start by creating an empty project. Uh, one thing too that I should say is if you are not going to geo-reference these you can just create a new survey file and that'll be just a single cave all by itself. So let's go through the project empty creating an empty project and I'll just call this our super cave system and we'll save it on the desktop for now and once I've got the super cave system created I'm gonna go and I'm gonna create a new survey file the name of the first survey is uh, if you're surveying like most people do it seems here in the US um, You'll, the name of your survey is the name of whatever, you, whatever you're calling your survey as you're going through the cave. So it might be A1, A2, A3, A4, and then you switch off to the B survey and then the C survey. So if this is our first trip and I'm surveying it with that method, I'm just going to call this the A survey. Name of the first survey. Really, you can call it whatever you want. We'll hit OK, and I'll go ahead and call this. This is um, Super Duper Cave. And I'll save that on the desktop as well. Okay, so now that I've got my cave and my cave system, um, I'm going to go ahead and let's see. Let's see if this opened to Windows. Nope. Okay, so let's reopen our Super Cave System Mac file. And I'm going to go to, let's see, is it best to do it this way? Probably better. Let's right click on here and insert new file see if that works no. insert existing file okay so um, once you've got your your uh, system set up there right click and if you don't have this dat file this uh, cave survey file created you can create a new file and it should start right in there I'm going to insert an existing file. I'm going to browse for my file. It's on the desktop. It's the Super Duper Cave. Hit open. And we'll hit OK. OK, so now if I expand this out, you can see I've got the cave system, and then I have this cave within the system. So now I can go into this cave. And actually, you know what? I think we'll cover that in another tutorial. You get the idea for just getting things set up and getting ready to go. So let's call it good for there. And